Hello and welcome. On behalf of the Wyandotte County Museum and myself, Andy Ackright, I am glad to be your tour guide today as we explore Caw Point on one of the edges of Wyandotte County where the Missouri and the Kansas River meet. A great event happened. Lewis and Clark stayed here. Many people don't realize how important Wyandotte County and Kansas City, Kansas really are. You see, June 26th through 29th, 1804, Lewis and Clark were here at Caw Point, right here, 217 years ago. Lewis and Clark. Now, what was this all about? This was about the Louisiana Purchase. Now, the Louisiana Purchase sold all that territory over to the Rocky Mountains and all the way up to Canada. Okay, now check this out. Why is that important to Kansas history? Well, in the Kansas-Nebraska Act, right? Kansas is supposed to be a slave state. Nebraska is supposed to be a free state. Well, Kansas had the same border here, right? Missouri River, but it went all the way over past the Rocky Mountains. Nebraska had the same bottom border as Kansas's top border, but Nebraska went all the way up to Canada. Check that out. So they had that and the expedition was to get over to that Oregon territory and claim it in the name of the United States of America. The symbol for the Corps of Discovery 200th anniversary, 2004. 1804, Lewis and Clark were here 200 years later celebrating that. There you see that this landmark does honor the Native American tribes. And of course, it has its educational formats as well. So it teaches you about the people who are here, the places, the river and whatnot. The big muddy. So the river was churning up everything and all that stuff and it would make all these little outlets and all that stuff. So they called it big muddy. Homeland of the Kansa Indians. Kansa also going by Kaw Indians. You can see here Kansas villages and agencies and you have you have Westport right up here Fort Leavenworth here we have an artist rendering of what might have been happening this is by Ernst Ulner so you see this is, this is their big boat the keel boat right and they got fixing up the canoes they're hunting everything and here over here we have Lewis and Clark York and Seaman and as you can see from here Missouri River, Kansas River, Missouri River, Kansas River, combine, going there, where? St. Louis, Mississippi River. So you see here, a bit of an amphitheater style setup. And here are these benches representing the people who were on the Corps of Discovery. Here's York Slave, Captain William Clark, Meriwether Lewis, Seaman the Newfoundland Dog. As we leave both the amphitheater site and we can just turn around and see the mighty Mo. And it's not hard to imagine how this might take one's boat and do with it what it will.
You are at its mercy. And here from the south, there we see William Clark and Meriwether Lewis looking beyond. Here you have the Kaw River, the Kansas River. So you see it coming from the south, going north, and boom, right there. Can you see where they're meeting? This is Kaw Point. This is why it's so important. This is why the Wyandotte County Museum wanted to recognize this spot. Right here. Right here. You turn around. You will see a great vantage point. If anyone was coming to attack you, you could see them. All you had to do was protect your backs because you would see them from any direction. You were higher than them. You had access to water, access to timber, access to grass back then, and access to animals. This was a great place. And that's why they started to settle. That's why we celebrate on their expedition. And finding this great spot, Caw Point in Wyandotte County, because yes, over there might be Kansas City, as most people know, but that's Missouri. This right here, where these two rivers collide, this is Kansas. This is Wyandotte County. On behalf of the Wyandotte County Museum and myself, Andy Ackright, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you check out the Wyandotte County Museum. It's a big history nerd. I go to a lot of museums and it is honestly one of the hidden treasures around Kansas City. You need to go check it out. It's a really cool museum. See you next time.